So once you have bought the DJI Mini 3 Pro, you will have literally everything that you need in a small drone like this, but it doesn't come with many accessories out of the box. So you will find on Amazon and eBay already, it is swarming with accessories for this drone, just like the Mini 2 and the Mavic 3. There are thousands to choose from. But this drone isn't cheap and the purpose of this video today is I want to talk to you about some of the accessories that you should go out and buy to get the most out of this and also the ones that you should completely avoid. Let's get straight into the video. Now straight away, if I was to only buy two accessories for this drone, the DJI Mini 3 Pro, if I could only buy two, what would my top two be? Well firstly, if you can get one, it's going to be this, the DJI Mini 3 Pro Fly More Kit. This, until now, was like gold dust to get hold of one of these. But if you're gonna pick up two accessories, this is one I would 100% go out and get. So what you're gonna get with this is the main thing. With this drone and any other drone, you're gonna need extra batteries. So it comes with this nice little case like this, and this holds two extra batteries, plus the battery that you get with the drone. So you can put three batteries in here, and this charges them all in sequence. It's got USB-C on the side, and this is basically the best thing in the fly more kit for me. This is crucial, having extra batteries. There's no point getting to locations on one battery. Batteries are in so important. But getting this kit, so you get this, you get the batteries, you get some extra propellers, and so this bag that comes with the fly more kit is nicely designed. It's got lots of pockets on the inside here. This will hold your RC controller, the drone, and the batteries. It's got zips at the top and zips at the back. And I would say this bag is good for just literally going out doing this shot or going to one location just with the drone itself. I'm gonna talk about bags in a minute. But the fly more kit, for an accessory standpoint to get everything with it, number one accessory, definitely go and get that, or at least some extra batteries. You will never be disappointed for having too many batteries. All right, you guessed it. The next one, ND filters. My second favorite accessory. Most of the time, you're gonna be flying your drone in the daytime, so you're gonna have reflections of surfaces that bright conditions isn't gonna be great on camera without ND filters. You're gonna have glares and reflections off water, off buildings, off cars. ND filters will help reduce all of that. And they also allow you to bring your shutter speed right down to get natural looking motion blur. So literally on all my drones and cameras, I use ND filters all of the time on everything to get the best looking results. And the ones I use for the Mini 3 Pro are these. These have just come out, these are by Freewell. And these have a bright day pack and an all day pack. They're scratch and dust resistant. Literally the, the best ones, the goats of drone filters, fully recommend them. So two accessories, I, if I just had to get two and then just end this video and move on, would be the Fly More Kit and these filters. You will not thank me enough. Okay, you'll notice when you first get your drone, it doesn't come with now a charger, it just comes with a USB-C cable. So that's not ideal for charging your drone, it's gonna be really slow. You're gonna want a charger. So if you've got a Mavic 3, you could use a charger that comes with that. But I picked up this, and this is the Anker 40 watt dual charger. This allows me to connect a USB-C cable into the top and bottom, and then with the two wires, I can charge either this, or my drone and my phone at the same time. This for me is a fantastic accessory. I keep this in my bag all of the time. It allows the drone and the batteries or my phone or my iPad to be charged with just this. And it's really small and lightweight. The Anker 40 watt dual charger is what I recommend. But there's also one other charger that's great as well. So when I was in Mallorca, I didn't have the fly mucket at the time. I just used the drone and one battery inside of it. And I was moving around to different locations. So I wanted the drone to be charging whilst in the car. So I picked up this. this on Amazon as well. This is a quick charge car charger and this allowed me to plug in a USB-C cable into the back into my drone and then whilst I was moving locations it was charging it fast as well and most of the time after about traveling on the road for about 40-50 minutes the drone will be fully charged by the time I got to the next location all from using this. It's a really small accessory again I keep it in my bag all of the time it's always there brilliant for on the road. These are the two chargers I would recommend for going picking up for the Mini 3 Pro. 
Now, a massive part of the puzzle is sound design, and Artlist sponsoring this video is what I use to get the best quality music and sound effects on my videos. So editing is a big part of the puzzle, and rather than spend hours looking for copyright-free music, just literally using a sound platform like Artlist. So all of the music you hear will be the Artlist music. So on my previous videos, my Mallorca videos, it was all Artlist music. So I can just go on there and type in cinematic. I can grab some of the most popular cinematic songs, drag that onto my timeline, and then begin editing. If I want sound effects, so in the mountains, I want some wind noises, or I want some birds chirping, I can use that from sound effects. Or I want some whoosh sounds, it's all there. They've got a massive library. And also if you use my link, you get two months extra free. You can use this on your videos. You can use them on uploading and it's all license free and you can monetize it and make money from your videos. So don't do what I did years ago, which is going through the YouTube sound platform or looking for copyright free music. And then either it wouldn't be copyright free or I'd be looking and going, I've spent literally five hours looking for a song. I can now, I can do that in 10 seconds. Artlist, fantastic, go and check it out. Okay, let's talk bags. So the bag that comes with the fly mall kit is great because it's lightweight, but it's not mega sturdy. So if you want something that's gonna protect your drone and the controller inside of it, cases are really popular. So there's two bags I'm gonna be talking about today. Number one is this. So this is a case, it looks like a briefcase, but this is rock solid. And this is for the Mini 3 Pro. It has an anti-theft locking system on the back here. And once you open it up, this all has really nice padding on the top and of the bottom here. And this will hold all of your drone accessories. So it has space for the drone, the batteries, the controller, it is brilliant and this will withstand any drops it's also fully waterproof and it looks cool as well this badass so if you want a case these are what i use on the mavic 3 i added this on the air 2s you want a case that's like this really sturdy so you go in somewhere where there's going to be maybe lots of sand gravel things where you could slip this is going to protect your drone and the accessories in there completely so this one here is by pgy tech Let's move on to the bag as well, this bag. I love this bag. So this bag, right, this is literally the Swiss army knife of bags. I love it. So it looks heavy and bulky, it's not, it's really lightweight. And it has a million zillion different ways that you can have a mount stuff or store stuff in this bag. You'll notice on the front here, I've got my DJI FPV strapped to the front of the bag. If you've got this drone, you will know how hard it is traveling around with this, the goggles, the controller, it's a nightmare. And finding something to actually travel with it, it's really hard to find. This has got a strap system on the front where you could hold, say, a drone, you could hold your tripod. It is brilliant. Let's see what else it can do. Took the drone off the front. I'm gonna show you some of the other features of here. It's got two side access pockets. It's a quick access, so both of these open up. You can get straight into the bag. And both of these pockets also have accessory parts, so you can store like phone batteries. You can put memory cards in the top bit. This is all stored on the side. On the other side of here, you've got two more pockets. You've got a pocket down here. This is where I normally store like my tripod or gimbals. This also secures with a strap. You've also got another pocket on the top. And then this whole top bit here, if this isn't big enough bag for you, then it's got another zip on the front and it now extends outwards. Have a whole other secret section here where you can store loads of stuff in the front. And we've not even got into the main part of the bag yet. This is why I love it because I can take everything with me. If I'm going away for a few days when I went to Mallorca, everything I need can all go in this bag. The main part of the bag, this is where we had that entry part before, so you can store things here. Now all of these come off, so you can have this set up and customized however you want it. On this side, you can put an iPad or a 16 inch laptop on this side. It's padded, so it's fully protected. On the bottom of it, it's got another secret compartment. So it's, it is waterproof this, but if you're in like really bad terrain and it's chucking it down, you've got a secret waterproof cover here to go over the bag and that just in that part there. So this bag, I absolutely love it. It's by PGY Tech. I'd really recommend you go and checking it out. It's, it's the best bag that I've been looking for for so long. The front bit with that extra part, I usually put clothes in there like a hoodie or something. 
But if I'm traveling around like in Mallorca and I want to take a big camera, my tripods, a few drones, all the batteries, it can all go in here. But with the bag being lightweight as well, it's not this super bulky design weighing you down. Really good bag. I'm glad the hunt for looking for a good bag is over. Another crucial part, and this if you don't get right, will cause you a lot of problems, SD cards. So I have my SD card in this little wallet here, and this allows me quick access to get the SD card I want into my drone. Now you need to be using good SD cards to get reliable footage. You don't want any choppiness, you don't want any SD cards malfunctioning, you don't want to lose your footage because you've picked an SD card which might have been £10 cheaper. Don't do that. So with the memory card I use in my drone, it's a SanDisk U3, 128 gigabyte. I don't use a size larger than that because I find if I did, I'd just become quite lazy and I wouldn't transfer the footage, but use good memory cards. It is crucial. This is the one I use. I also have the same one, but a 64 gigabyte in the RC controller. And that's only just for screen recording. You don't really need a size that much on there, but SD cards and the ones by SanDisk, I find the Sandisk Extreme are really good. Okay, so those are the most crucial accessories you should go and get. So it should be high up that list to go and pick up first. And these are now more miscellaneous ones that you don't really need, but they make your life better. So this one here, this is a clip that holds all the propellers together. It's nice and rubber, it's lightweight, and it's what I use for traveling as well. This doesn't come with the drone itself. You have to buy this, it's about $10 and it doesn't come with any kind of propeller holder in the fly more kit or the drone itself. So picking something like this up will stop the propellers getting caught on anything and it's good for traveling around. So this is relatively cheap accessory and it is good. And a bike mount as well is good. If you're gonna be using your bike a lot on the Mini 3 and you want to use that focus track for it tracking you when you're on your bike, they don't currently make at the time of this video a mount for the new RC controller, but they do for the old controller. So I use this one and this allows me then to mount my DJI remote controller onto my bike and get some really good action shots when I'm on my bike. And UAV Forecast is a free accessory. It's an app that you can go out and get. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever, but I use it every single time before taking off. And this will show you your current wind conditions, which can be crucial for keeping your drone safe. So UAV Forecast is what I use. You should go and pick that up. And landing pads, I don't use landing pads all the time, but if I'm going out somewhere where it's say mountainous and I know that the terrain might not be great for taking off, landing pads are a good accessory. Don't spend a lot, they're literally all the same. Just get a one with good reviews. I'll link the one which I use occasionally. But most of the time, once you get confidence, I like doing palm takeoff and palm landings. Then you don't need a landing pad. But landing pads, yeah, they're all right accessory. But these accessories here are not. So none of these accessories are really cheap and I've placed them there in the ones of priority, the ones that you should go out and get. I'm not gonna waste your time telling you about getting these products or advertising these products, even though the companies want me to because I've been asked hundreds of times and I will always say no because they are a pile of shit, <laughs> okay? The first one is landing legs. Landing legs are, out of all of them, not the worst. I can see some use case out of them. However, practical wise, they're going to put the drone over 250 grams straight away. So that's a problem, isn't it? And secondly, they look terrible. And thirdly, why would you really need one? Because if you're in an area where you need landing legs for taking off, say the grass is really long or it's really bad, just find somewhere else that's a little bit smoother or take off in your hand. And then you don't need landing legs. Landing legs are complete waste of time. I would rather get an SD card than landing legs. So the RC controller sticks on the old controller, I can understand, but the RC controller sticks for the new controller, I can't understand. So you'll see the sticks on here, on the new controller. These are like FPV sticks, aren't they? These are really thin, decent quality sticks. They're like FPV ones, thin. So why would you then want to go out and buy some other ones of these that are on Amazon, which are FPV style control sticks for this? They're just a different color. So if you want to spend $20 on different color sticks, be my guest. Again, I would rather buy a good SD card than controller sticks. These controller sticks are great, the ones that come with this. 
If you're going to buy any, buy another pair of these. Don't buy some crap third party ones on Amazon. Avoid it. All right, the last one. Whatever you do, do not buy these. I've been asked so many times to do a video on these. I can't tell you the amount of times I could never do it because I couldn't live with myself. If maybe I make a cool video, it'll get clicks. Yeah, it'd be great, but I couldn't do it to you guys because how many of you would go out and buy them accessories thinking, oh, he did it, he, he landed it well, he took off well, it was great, he was able to land on water. And then you go and do it and you crash your drone and so many of you have got your drones in the middle of some lake or pond, you know, it's either just floating around or capsized. Don't get these. So they all come down to the actual balance as well. So are you gonna risk this drone this drone that you've saved hard for, the drone that you had to search everywhere for to find a drone like this, because they're really still hard to get, waited ages for delivery, to then go and get some water landing legs on Amazon, stick them on here, to go to a lake and then take off and land, and then you see your drone tip, and then it's dead. Don't explain that to DJI, they'll just shut you down. Don't explain it to me. Don't explain it to anybody, because they'll just say, you're stupid for doing that. <laughs> it really is. I don't know why these exist. I, I really don't understand it. If I was flying around over water, I would follow my how to fly over water video and understand the risks of flying over water. I wouldn't fly with some ridiculous monstrosity landing legs on the bottom of it. Just please don't buy landing legs. I hope that puts that point across. Don't buy it. So I know a lot of you guys are getting your drones now and getting your fly mail kits now. I'm really happy for you. I can't wait to hear more stories about the footage that you've captured and share it with me on social media. If you've liked this, make sure you like and subscribe. That's really good and helpful. Thanks so much for anyone who does that. But I hope this video served a purpose and that was these accessories aren't cheap, but this drone's not cheap. And I wanted you to understand the best accessories to get, to get the most out of this drone. Not the ones that might look good on Amazon, might look good on eBay, and you're thinking, oh, I might get that. And then it actually makes your drone worse or crashes your drone. I would hate that. So that's why I don't advertise them. I only show you and advertise products on this channel, which I believe in, and the ones I would use. So take care, guys. Have a fantastic day. See you soon. Bye-bye.